Hello, YouTube! Holy shit, I accidentally hit the streaming button rather than the recording button. Um, so, I got a request at some point. I forget who it was who asked it. They wanted me to go into the Nemesis uh, creation and, and such. Well, I hit level 25 recently on the Road to 40 character, so I'm going to use DJ Winza Gaming to create a Nemesis. Now, if you log out after reaching level 25, you're going to notice when you come back, you get an email from MCPD Captain Martin. And, you know, he tells you that he's in the place behind City Hall. So, we are going to go there. Poof! Now, I'm going to speed this up, so ignore my face during this speed thing, because I'm going to try my best to, to go stone face, but I might move. Here we go. And we're here. Ah. <sighs> I never had to hold my face so still in all my life. Ah! A random person giving me a random mission. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna accept that and do that later. Alright. Anyway. So this is MCPD Captain Martin in front of the police station. And that this building right here, not these back here, but this one right here. That's Town Hall. Uh, on the map, it's right here. Let me go closer. Don't know if you guys can see it very well. But that's Town Hall. And the police department is right here. And here's a... Uh, a um, what's it called? A uh, museum. But anyway. I have to talk to him. Me and the rest of the police force owe you superheroes a lot of gratitude for what you do. With all that help and cleaning up these streets and whatnot. Hey, D hey there, DJ Winds of Gaming. Got any ideas on what cr on crimes in progress we can help with? Crime computer. Hey, thanks for coming right down, DJ Winds of Gaming. We've been converting our old crime database to this fancy new until system so that we can keep tabs on all sorts of criminals. Seeing as how you superhero types are always dealing with supervillains and whatnot, we got orders from way up to say we gotta... that say we gotta work with you guys to update our database or whatever. You willing to help us out, DJ Ones of Gaming? It's real easy. All you gotta do is use this here until computer and input everything you can tell us about the supervillains you've been fighting. And basically, then you walk over to this thing here. You recognize this? It, there's one of these that's in, uh, in the, um, what's it called? Um, Renaissance Center in the middle of town. That's where you can edit your nemesis if necessary. And... Boom! First screen of the Nemesis creation. You choose their powers. You can't do it custom, unfortunately, so you have to choose, like, a power with a theme that goes with them. Hold on, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee from the dark side since I am doing the Nemesis mission right now. Now, I thought since this character's costume is based on a now deceased music legend, I might as well make his nemesis be based on a now deceased music legend. So I have to choose um Oh, they don't have heavy weapons available. That is disappointing as fuck. They don't have Earth available either. God damn it. Cryptic, get on that shit. 
just heavy weapons and and uh, and earth attacks. Come on, bring it. Anyway, oh by the way, if they use weaponry, <sighs> excuse me, uh, you can't change their weaponry in their costume creator like you can if it's a player character, which is disappointing. But you know, this is more than you get in uh, in some other games. But I love the Nemesis system anyway. Um, let's see. You know what? I, I am going to go with sorcery. Because, what the fuck, why not? Because I'm going to make Lemmy Killmeister. Actually, undead fits, but... Uh, you get... Undead, robots, soldier, soldiers, cowboys, pirates, convicts. They don't all look like this. There are four, di four different varieties. So, you know... Anyway, uh, infernals, demons, aliens, insectoids, beastmen, lizardmen, thugs, ninjas, mafia. Yeah, thugs and mafia are different. S similar, but different. Yeah. Very similar, but different. Shut up. Uh, ninjas, which, you know, are ninjas. They're pretty much exactly how they are. Uh, where, uh, vampires, do, 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 do. Werewolves, do, do, do. Fire-themed lackeys. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Up and down. All right. Frozen ice-themed lackeys and charged lackeys. So, you know, there aren't that many differences among those. But we are going to go with... You almost never see pirates. Um, actually, no. I've got that on, uh, Capatane Jerk Sparrow, so I'll go with something else. Um. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I just woke up, so fuck you. Um. Fuck it, we'll go with thugs. And then you choose their powers, and you can choose the color that it uses. I'm just going to use the default. And... Uh... Fuck it, we'll go with Supernatural, because reasons. And we're going to go with a celebrity that is also dead. And he was pretty brutal in life, so we will go with Savage. Alright, so. Here comes a montage of character creation for specifically this villain. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
And there we go. That's that's what I'm working with now. His name will be Lemmy Kilwins. Uh, I'll put a hyphen. There we go. All right. Start the reign of terror. Holy shit. That was quicker than I uh, normally anticipate for creating a uh, super villain, so. Boop. And now, Lemurian Antiquities. So, here is the first mission you get to fight your newly created nemesis. By the way, little, uh, little, uh, thing here. If you just go through this globe here, journey to the center of the earth. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to do that. Alright. So, let's -a go, bitches. Mmm. Coffee from the dark side. So, why this piece appears this to is be a cutscene. Cut what exquisite craftsmanship. Oh, you won't regret this deal. Trust me. Oh, excuse me. I didn't see you standing there. No problem, ma'am. I'm just drifting through. Got a feeling that something bad is about to go down here, but my heart tells me it's going to be all right. You guys got to space this out a little more. Because it still cuts the part of it. History Museum uh, of Millennium City damn it, Cryptic. Welcomes you to the unveiling of our latest exhibit, Treasures of Lemuria. Welcome Ambassador Crax, diplomat from the Great Undersea Kingdom. Ambassador Crax, thank you for your very generous donation of this ancient and powerful Lemurian artifact. It will be admired by the citizens of Millennium City for generations to come. Thank you for your kind words, Curator Jones. It is my hope that this donation helps usher in a new era of peace and harmony between humankind and Lemurians. Curator Jones. Ambassador Crax, is this one this is one of the most impressive pieces I've ever graced the halls of tell me, does it piece have mystical significance or use some of Lemuria's amazing Ignatium technology? Two, three, four. I hope I'm not interrupting. It seems I've forgotten my invitation. Let me kill Winza. <laughs> I know he looks kind of generic, but I, I went for the last thing that I went that I saw in my mind's eye of how Let Me Kill Meister looked, and I remember he, you know, he kind of looks like a cowboy. I'll eventually edit him if I feel like it. It does cost uh, in-game currency to edit existing nemeses. Uh, by the way, you can have up to 18 total nemeses. And yes, the nemesis doesn't have any voice because for a good reason, they they figured, you know, you created the character. It might be good if you were the one that supplied the voice, if necessary. So, I can tell you right away, the theme for this character will be dead celebrities.
God damn it, we both knocked each other down. Fuck you! Suck it down. Oh, something I'm never gonna use. Here, hold this for me, thanks. Oh, you're already dead, how sad. Who was that villain? Let me kill Winza. You see, that's, that's also funny, because, you know, it's like him asking, let me kill Winza! Which, you know, a lot of you guys are probably asking right now to kill Winza. Yeah. Because my jokes are falling flatter than... than a... than a flapjack at a flapjack maker convention. Oh, neat. I'm getting stuff. Is that actually decent? No, it is not, son of a bitch. Alright. Still have those booster packs. I don't want to use those. Because I want this to be natural. Oh shit, maybe I should move that power around. Who is this Lemmy Kilwinza? Well, apparently he's someone who knows me and wants me dead. Yay, dead. Here, hold that, thanks. Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna wake up all the bodyguards. Oh yeah. Feels so good. you there are a couple things I'm looking forward to a lot oh god what are you doing no let go asshole Okay, never mind. That wasn't a good idea. Okay. Plan B. Just, you know, keep killing them one at a time. Also, fuck you guys. <laughs> I do suck. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking play there. I'm not the best player in the game, but I'm not the worst either, thankfully. No, that would be you. I'm kidding. Um. Oh, God damn it.
Here, hold that for me, thanks. You. Hold this for me. Oh god. He's actually a pretty decent villain. But I got all his pets. Oh shit. I survived. I didn't count on you showing up today. DJ wins the gaming. You got me this time. Blah blah blah. Yakety schmackety. You can read faster than I can say it out loud, so enjoy. Groovy, we beat the effing mission. Hooray! I'm just gonna kill the rest of these mooks. Curator Jones. I wonder... Did they... Oh. Maybe I should have gotten the, uh, darkness thing? Oh, well. But I want to read. Is Curator Jones based on the character I think he is? God damn it, they didn't put any goddamn storyline on him. Is Cracks? God damn it, why didn't they give a goddamn storyline to Cracks? Really? 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 Oh, the disappointment. Alright, get up the rest of the security. There, I've finished the fucking local mission. Alright. Groovy, we beat the effing mission. Hooray! That is the first... Um, the first Nemesis mission in the game... It's not super spectacular, and yes, I do suck. Shut up. And after you're done, you just fly back to the MCPD captain. And blah blah, you get your first bit of Nemesis tokens. There we go. Yay! Now, here's the fun part. You can either use this one or the one in uh, Ren, Ren Center if you want to uh, adjust your nemesis. So if I wanted to change uh, his hat, I just click, I just double click, or edit nemesis. I can change his powers. You can change. I can change the color of his powers. I can change the type of. Uh, enemies that he has follow him, uh, their abilities, and the color of their abilities, his personality type. You can change all of that once the character's already made anyway. So if there was something you didn't like about your nemesis, you can change that. Although any costume changes, like if I wanted to change his hat, that would cost uh, resources, even though, um, you know, even though you're not changing your own character, you're changing a character that now exists in the world. Now, as cool as it would be for the nemesis themselves to come after you, unfortunately, they do not. And actually, I am going to change something about him. I'm going to change his, uh, his shirt color. I'm gonna make it purple because I'm Winza. There we go. Now he'll stand out from his his buddies. There we go. I made I made this character my own. I'm gonna change his pants to khaki color. Uh, we're just gonna change these two. Not pulp aviator. Um. just tucked. Just 
jeans shape, but the color will be khaki. There we go. Now he will definitely stand out from his from his buddies. There. Let me kill Winza. And you see it's going to cost me 12 national and 28 uh, local. By the way, that for those that are curious, that's the uh, that's what the uh, currency is called, although people just refer to it as L, N, and G. But it's, you know, local, national, and global. Anyway. Boop! I'm going to take that anyway. I can, I can write a story, but the problem with writing a story is nobody will be able to read it but you. Because it only exists in this window. So, cryptic, fuckers, fix that. Because I would love to put an entire storyline on any and all of my villains. I have a shit ton. Anyway, there we go. And shploofy. I'm going to bring my character back to where, uh, really? 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 Oh no! Oh no! This couldn't possibly be based on the character from the Sandman series! Logging out to escape. Jesus. But then again, I shouldn't complain because I have Gao and I have this character. Yeah, I know. I'm a fucking immigrant. But suck my dick. Um, although Catropos is his own thing, he may be slightly based on Cthulhu, but he's like this tall. <laughs> and he's a completely original character. And all my and 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 Monkey in a Chainsaw, Jorge the Furious Little Monkey. He's an original character, although uh, the angry man in the yellow hat's a little copy paste, but still. That's his supervillain. In fact, I'm going to show you just how ridiculous supervillains can be by... Actually, you know what? Never mind. I don't have time for that today because I'm looking at the time now. I have to get to editing this. So, just remember this more, more importantly than anything else while I'm flanked by magical ladies. Remember that I love you. But uh, since I gotta get to editing, I need you guys to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs>